Today is Wednesday the 31st of October 2018, which is 10 years after the publication of the Bitcoin white paper. A significant moment in financial history, and that's the reason why we're celebrating it. And to do so, we chose a very specific location. We chose the exchange building of Berlage in Amsterdam. And the reason for that is that, incidentally, this is the month of history in the Netherlands, and the month of history with a theme, Revolt. Well, what more would you want? The revolt of Bitcoin celebrated in a building, the exchange uh, of Berlage, which itself is also a symbol of revolt. So how is the symbol of revolt in the exchange of Berlage? What does it look like? Did the exchange building have a white paper? The answer is yes, it did. And a summary of the white paper is here in the cafe. So if we look at the uh, tiles over here, we can see the past. So the vision of Berlage, the builder of the building, is the past we exchanged in barter. We bartered women for guns or swords, and that's, that's the old way of doing things. Uh, but then society evolved, and it evolved towards a new industrialized society. So this is the past, and then we move on to the present. And the present is dated in 1903, so the beginning of a previous century. And we see blue collar workers, we see, we see white collar workers. We, it's very reminiscent of the Modern Times uh, movie by Charlie Chaplin. Um, but we can see there's, there's industrious labor by everyone involved. But this is still a kind of slavery. It's the present. And the idea of Berlage and his co-artist uh, Verwey, who wrote literally a white paper on the concept of the building, was that there's an inevitable approach in uh, evolution in, in the history, which is from barter, towards a society where there's money, and this building hosted uh, the exchange, the coin exchange, the money exchange, and the regular exchange. So it was a building meant for commercial money business, for, for anything commercial. But their idea was, well, that's only for now. Because the end vision was a world without money. And the world without money is depicted in the third tile uh, over here. Um, and, and this is literally a paradise. It's a reflection of paradise. Um, it's actually a scene from paradise, but you can see on the right hand side the old laborer from the old world is laying aside his tools uh, and we have equality here. We have equality between men and women uh, and there's no more money. The money is gone and that's the idea. Berlach and Verwey said money will be gone. So if money is going to be gone, we need to make a building which is not only hosting the exchanges, but which over time has, still has a function. And they turned it around. They said, well, the function we want to give this building is the public function that it will have once all the money is gone. So this needs to be a building. Uh, uh, Palazzo Publico was the inspiring uh, idea of Berlage. He had traveled to Italy. He had seen the examples in Florence. He modeled the tower after the, uh, the Florence uh, towers and um, very much inspired by the building of the community. And he used brick in the building where each brick symbolizes a person. So he wrote a white paper that said, well, we move from barter to money to no money at all. He used brick in the building to symbolize the collective community uh, and the power of the collective. Uh, and the effect was basically that the building started to shake and scrumble and uh, uh, became wobbly in its foundations. But this is very much, if you are looking for a literal blockchain in Amsterdam, the oldest blockchain in Amsterdam is this building, the Berlag Exchange building. And that's the reason why we need to hold the 10-year celebration for the Bitcoin white paper here.